Hello all, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on understanding process flow. We have already seen basics and token creation process flow understanding in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please do watch those videos on our channel. Those are already uploaded there. So in today's video, we are going to learn and understand how subflow process flow can be used in modeling and what are its uses and disadvantages. So let's begin without wasting much of our time. So in today's video, as earlier told, we are going to learn subflow. So what is subflow? The name itself implies that it is going to create another flow which is going to be smaller and that we are going to initiate or we are going to run it by a forced method or by creating a logic. So this is what is the run subflow process flow entity. Now the usage for this run subflow becomes crucial when a single token needs to be used for multiple operations or the single token needs to be taking care of multiple operations. But how it is possible because a single token when moves from the process flow only carries one activity at a time. It cannot come back again and again do the same work four times, five times. So for that purpose, run subflow becomes very essential and important in process flow. So I have created one of the small example to understand the run subflow. So if you look at, we have source, which is basically event triggered source which is taking care from the q1 so what we have done is from q1 on entry we are going to create an object so i have created a source one which is going to create a part every five second interval we are having a queue which is having a capacity of thousand and the part goes into the sink we have another queue here q2 and q3 and the source is assigned to q2 which creates a part every 0.5 seconds now how the logic is created is whenever a part is going to arrive at a q1 i am going to get a token but that same token i am going to use to move the part from q2 to q3 and transfer five parts at a time so basically if you look at this is the run subflow property window what we need to enter is the destination we need to enter the quantity and then there are assigning labels to the children's because this run subflow creates a children's which run into the subflow whereas the parent token moves from this source to the run subflow and then it goes to sync. So we have this assigned label to children's which run in a subflow. So if you look at here, we are having start and finish activity into the subflow. This we need to use in process flow because that specifies when the subflow begins and when it ends so what i have done is a single token when getting created from q1 will generate five tokens or will run five times in this loop and this will move my five objects from this q2 to q3 so you can look at we are generating only one token from here and this single token okay, does the activity of transferring five parts at the same time from q2 to q3 if you look at the move object i have created a properties here if you look in this the object is q2's sub nodes so whatever parts are available in the q2 those parts we are going to transfer to q3 that is destination q3 so this is what it is in the subflow, if you look at, we have two properties here, label access on parent only, and we have run tokens one at a time. So when I check this run tokens one at a time, I'll just show you by debugging the code, you could look at what does it mean. So I'll just reset, I'll just run. And this, if you look at here, I am having one token coming in the subflow only at the time. So I'll just next 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 so these five times my code has been executed but if you look at i am only able to see one token there so i'll just stop this i'll make this continue i'll close this code i'll make a reset and now when i go to run subflow 
I am going to check this and when I reset and when I am going to run it so basically now what I need to do is I need to uncheck this so we are not going to run tokens one at a time now all five tokens will come instantly there and you can look at I'll just reset and again I'll make a run so what are you looking now so if you look at this we are having five tokens in a queue at start one already moved I here to new I object and now one by one the token will come down and leave with a sync so this is how this property works so if you I'll just make this continue I'll just make this reset so what does the state is that when you uncheck this you have all five tokens coming at a time one by one moving from start and when I check this I only have one token entering into the start then another entering into the start not five getting queued up so this is the difference between this run tokens one at a time now when you uncheck this parent labels what are you going to do you're going to read and write the parent labels that is the token coming from the source to run subflow you're going to read it or we are going to do nothing so if you click on this label access on parent only when you uncheck this you are able to edit this parent label access and you can copy the labels to the children or create new so this is the feature for the labeling one so this is all about run subflow let me know if you have any queries related to it because it's not a very complicated thing here we are having another features codes activities in a drop down we are having multiple things depending on your requirement of industry you can use it but this is the most used thing we do we just enter the number of the quantity of tokens required and the destination and this is how the runs of flow is used so let me know if you have any queries for this if you require any support do comment in the comment section in this video do visit our website beaverchannel.com for several updates on simulation blogs games and things you need to buy if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe to our channel do like and share do share this video with the people who need it because knowledge grows by sharing so till then take care jai hind